geographical terms by means of geography, place means the distinguishing characteristics of a place. And by this place, I mean like a location. The distinguishing character characteristics of your house, the distinguishing distinguishing characteristics of your city, the distinguishing characteristics of your bedroom, your classroom. All right, that would all be place. Now, another way to understand that is, you are describing place when you are answering this question. What is? Sure. What is your place like? If I were to ask you, what is your city like? Nick, if I say, what's your city like? What would you say? It's small. Okay, it's small. It's got lots of trees. Lots of trees. Okay. And I can't hear. Okay, well, those aren't distinguishing characteristics. It is a very small city. And there are a lot of trees, right? Yeah. When you're talking about place, he was just describing place in a geographic way, okay? When you are talking about place, you should include these things, or they can include these things. Climate. So what is your place like, Nick, when we're talking about climate? Uh, it's just kind of average. Just well, warm in the summer and cold in the winter. Warm in the summer, cold in the winter. There's climate for you. It also includes, hold on, I gotta turn down this volume here. I don't get so much feedback. Okay. It includes climate, it also includes physical features. You should all be in your notes here, guys. Climate, physical features. Physical features might include <coughs> landscape, like hills. For example, like in Huntington Woods, you have the hill, right? That's distinguishing Huntington Woods from other places. OK? So climate, physical features. Plant and animal life. And Nick sort of gave us a, some of that, right? Yeah. He said there are lots of trees. Squirrels. Squirrels. What other kind of animals Birds. are in our area? Birds. 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 Um, cats. <laughs> yeah, maybe some cats and dogs. Frogs. Chipmunks. Possums. Rabbits. OK? Spiders. Right. You guys get the idea. Yeah. And then also, Human features. Now by human features, what I mean, no, not the people. Shh, hold on. No, guys, I'll tell you what it means. The things, because we're not talking about the people. We're talking about the place. It's not the people. It's the things that people have made. What would be some examples of Human features in the city that you live in. What city do you live in, Max? Huntington Woods. Huntington Woods. Probably the playground. Playground. Uh, school. School. Rack and golf course. Rack and golf course. Asia, what city do you live in? Mm. In Wayne. Okay, and what um, what are some uh, some human features of your city? The um, mini mart.
park, houses, things like that, right? Buildings, businesses, okay? So those are some human features. Now, if you're talking about your house, because you have a homework assignment tonight. Here is your homework assignment. Wait. You can write it in your notebook, then you can transfer it into your okay. planner if you need to. What I want you to do for your homework assignment tonight is to describe your place. Last night, you did your absolute and relative location. Tonight, I want you to describe your place. What is your place like? And you should try to include, if you're doing your city, include your climate. And remember, climate's not just the weather. Like right now, it's raining outside. That's not climate. That's weather. Climate is over a long span of time what the weather is over a long span of time. So over a year, what is the weather like? When Nick earlier, he said it is cold in the winter and warm in the summer, he was giving an example of climate because it's over a long period of time. Um, you should include, if you're talking about in your house though, if you choose to do your house instead of your city, which you can choose, you can describe your house or you can describe your city. You get to choose. But you need to pay attention because there are going to be some differences. Your climate in your house might be quite different than your cli the climate in your city. Year round, it's 72 degrees, maybe. In the summertime, we open up the windows, get a breeze, it's more humid, or we have the air conditioner on. So it's kind of cool. In the wintertime, it's warmer in our house, it's a little bit drier, right? Okay? Physical features, you're going to be talking about the, the land. This is a pretty flat area, so you might say that it's flat, or you might say there's a hill in our city. If you're talking about your house, now listen carefully, if you are choosing your house, the kind of physical features I want you to be talking about are the things to do with the house itself. Like there are two floors, there are seven bedrooms, 18 bathrooms. Right? I'm just describing my house for this one. All right? Okay? Now, when you're talking about plant and animal life, you talk about the plants that are in your house, if you choose your house. You talk about the animals that live in your house, if you've chosen your house. Gentlemen? But if you choose your city, then you talk about the plant and animal life of your city. Yes, Megan? If, okay, Megan's question is, what if you don't have any animals in your house? Then you don't have to worry about it. You just say there are no animals in my house. Other than my little brother. Okay. And then human features, if you are doing your city, if you're doing your city, guys, then human features would be buildings, houses, schools, roads, anything that anything that anything that humans have done to change your city, change the, that place. If you're talking about your house, on the other hand, of course your house actually is a human feature, but we're pretending like it's a physical feature if you're choosing your house to focus on. Then you can talk about what you put into your house. The furniture, televisions, things like that, right? Artwork on the walls. <coughs> you guys understand? Yes. Any questions about your homework assignment? Yes. Um, can we choose both, like, write a, write a paragraph about, about your house and then another paragraph about your city and then? Well, you can, but I would prefer you to just focus on one. <laughs> you can do both if you want to, but you don't have to do one. But I would try to include, guys, these four elements. Climate, physical features, plant and animal life, and then human features. Oh, they do Friday? This is due on Friday. Okay? Look at the time. It's time to go. Make sure you write this in your